I fell into music really late in life. A really close friend of mine passed away and I ended up writing songs to deal with the, the heavy grief. But prior to that, I had never written a song and I realized that it was something kind of therapeutic about doing music and I was able to have honest conversations with myself that I never really had before. There's this rawness and intimacy and connection and passion that you share with the audience and allow yourself to give uh, and the audience gives back to you. That is just a really beautiful moment. And so performing is my favorite aspect to music and and I, I just would never trade that. And I really hope we get to get back on stage sometime soon. This next song, Beijing Baby, is one that I wrote at the start of last year. At the time, I didn't even think I would be able to like get through it and put it out because um, Beijing Baby was a challenge. But I ended up pushing through with my awesome band um, and it became the song where uh, we got to bring home uh, our first Queensland Music Award. So I felt really glad that we had pushed through that. So the song's about um, materialism uh, and getting lost in that kind of superficial side of things and to just sometimes remember not to worry yourself about that stuff.
Kill Me With Your Love is about uh, toxic relationships and I think when you've only known toxic relationships you don't realise that it's actually really unhealthy and you confuse passion for it to be a good thing when actually it's just a toxic relationship. So I think that was my uh, way of figuring out that certain kind of relationships are toxic and to stay away from them and it was a bit of a turning point in my life. Kill Me With Your Love is a little bit of a vent to that. <laughs> You Got Left Behind was my very first single that I released. I guess it's a song about someone close to you having almost like a Peter Pan syndrome, not wanting to grow up and you keep pouring so much of yourself into making sure that they're not left behind. At a point you've got to realise that they've got to make that decision for themselves and um, you can only do so much. So that's what that song is about. Tick, tick, tick. It's only a mind 
I think Queensland um, music community is one of the most thriving and supportive communities. There's a lot of opportunities to play in Brisbane, so there's a less of that competitive nature and more of just that supportive energy. Very different to, I guess, that kind of doggy dog kind of mentality that you might see in the other bigger cities where they don't have many places to play and don't have as many opportunities to explore. So I was born in Japan and I moved to Brisbane when I was seven and my dad is an Australian and he's almost basically like a cowboy. He took me to rodeos all the time and one of the other places he would always take me to was the Ecker, always the agricultural side of the Ecker and strawberry Sundays. And if I was good, then at the end of the day, I'd walk away with a show bag, but otherwise we were always on one side of the Ecker. <laughs>